الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على مولانا رسول الله سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد بن عبد الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله حق قدره وصحبه ومن والاه We all know that this is the month in which the Quran was was revealed شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن So it is the month of of the Quran therefore we need to have special relationship in this month with the Quran as Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tells us kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun ha liyadabbaru liyadabbaru so this book of Allah it was revealed to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and to all of us because Allah says laqad anzalna ilaykum kitaban fihi dhikrukum we have sent down to you a book in which you have your dhikr you have your mention every single person of us is mentioned in the Quran whether we do know or not because Allah says fihi dhikrukum so check yourself see yourself see your name in the Quran because Allah says that the Quran is revealed to be pondered so that we can ponder upon liyadabbaru ayati liyadabbaru ayati and the way Allah tabarak wa ta'ala sent down this Quran to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to all of us shows us how Allah Ta'ala wants us to make tadabbur because Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says in the Quran anzala and nazala there is a difference between nazala and, and anzala what is the difference between anzala and nazala Allah says inna anzalnahu fi laylati mubarak and he says inna anzalnahu fi laylati al-qadr so, and then he says nazala hmm? qul nazalahu ruh al-qudus min rabbika bil haqq So there's a difference between inzal and tanzil. Inzal is when Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala sent the entirety of the Quran from Lawh al-Mahfuz to a place called the Baytul Izza according to Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas. Meaning inzal is the entirety of the Quran. When Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala sent down the entirety of the Quran that's inzal. That's why inna anzalnahu all of it fi laylati mubaraka shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila all of it. Hmm? But the tanzil happens in 23 years in the lifetime of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Huh? tanzila. Because Allah tabarak wa ta'ala sent down to the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam into the entire of the muslims you know what they need according to the events which occurred. And we all have a need to feel this inzal whenever we have a problem whenever we are counting a, a, a difficulty whenever we need a solution we go and check in the quran so that allah tabarak wa ta'ala yunazzil that tanzil qul nazzalahu ruh al-qudus ka mir ruh al-qudus bi rabbika bil haqq li yuthabbit man kana aduwan li jibril ilahi wa malaikati wa rasulihi allah sayyid qul man kana aduwan li jibril fa inna allah adu lil kafirin so allah tabarak wa ta'ala uses these two words so we need to go through the quran and there are so many names For, for, for this book of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala the arab say kashratu kathratu al-ism tadullu ala sharaf al-musamma if you see something or someone who has so many names that shows how important that thing or that one is that's why Allah tabarak wa ta'ala names it so many names al-dhikr al-qur'an al-furqan but al-kitab is the, the, the it is the book it is the book it is not a book but it is the book because every single thing that was revealed to the previous prophets is in this Quran is in this book that's why Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says inna hadha lafi as-suhuf al-ula suhuf Ibrahim wa Musa every single thing you need it in Torah you could see in Injil you could see in the books of uh, of of the previous prophets Allah says that it is in this book so you don't need any other book but what but the Quran ma farradna fil kitab min shay min shay Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says so we as muslims need to go to, through this book and when we go through this books we see how allah tabarak wa ta'ala puts the source of this this this, this quran you know how allah tabarak wa ta'ala organizes this quran you know it, it, it in allah ta'ala says it's our honor wa innahu la dhikrun laka wa li qawmik it is your sharaf as said abdullah ibn abbas said that it is the dhikr is the sharaf allah tabarak wa ta'ala nazzala hadha al quran ala qalbi muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم فاصبح سيد الاولين والاخرين الله تبارك وتعالى سيد داون ذس بوك تو ذا هولي بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات سو ذا هولي بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم بيكم ذا بيست اوف ذا كريتشرز اوف الله 
Jibreel sent it down, so Jibreel alayhi salam is the best of the angels. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala sent down this book to us, the Ummah of the Holy Prophet. We became the best of, of the Ummah. لما دعا الله داعينا لطاعته بأكرم الرسل كنا أكرم الأمم كنتم خير أمة نخرجت للناس تامرون بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله and when you read the Quran you see the themes the topics of the Quran of the surah of the Quran the first surah is which one is the first surah what do you say which surah so it's the Fatiha, which means the opening. It opens the, the book. And the Fatiha itself has so many names. So many names. Imam Aswawi, fi kitab hi al-hashi to Aswawi, ala tafsir al-jalalin, brings 20 names of this surah, Surah Al-Fatiha. It is the opening. It is the mother of the book. There is nothing that is in the Quran except that is in the, in the, in the Fatiha. That's why the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, said, that it is a'wam surah in the Quran. It is the greatest surah in the Quran. And he said it is a surah that was never revealed to any book, neither in Torah nor in Injil. That is Surah Al-Fatiha. That's why it is the mother of the book. The entirety of the Quran is a tafsir of Surah Al-Fatiha. The entirety of the Quran is a tafsir for Surah Al-Fatiha. You have, you, in the Quran you have wa'ad, you have wa'id, you have mu'ida, you have tariq, you have qasas, you have, you have, you have, everything is in Surah Al-Fatiha. Everything is in Surah Al-Fatiha. That's why the Holy Prophet said, La salata liman lam yaqra bi fatihati al-kitab. La salata liman lam yaqra bi fatihati al-kitab. If you were to recite from Baqarah to Nas without Surah Al-Fatiha, you have no prayer. That's why Fatiha is known as Al-Kafiyah. It suffices. Without it, nothing suffices. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu said to the Sahabi, وَمَا أَدْرَكَ أَنَّهَا رُقِيَا How do you know? Who told you that Fatiha is a Rupiah? It's a cure. There is no problem whether it is an internal or external problem. There is no disease whether it is an internal or external disease except that the cure is in Surah Al-Fatiha. It is Al-Shafiyah. It is Al-Wafiyah. It is and it is and it is and it is. So inshallah we will go through the themes and the topics of this Surah and the Qasas of the Quran because there is no Qasas in the Quran. There is no Qasas. Meaning, when we say there is no Qisr in the Qur'an, that means there is no Qisr that does not concern us. There is no Qisr that is historical. Whatever you see in the Qur'an, it's not about the past. It's about us. When Allah wa ta'ala talks about Adam and Iblis, Adam is you and me. Iblis is the enemy. That's as he says, He said, when you, when, you, when, you, when you read the surah of, uh, of, 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 of Yusuf, you, you are either Yusuf or you are equal to Yusuf. You can identify yourself. You can identify yourself. You see Musa and Fir'aun, it is the most repeated in the Quran. Because the, we always have Fir'aun and we always have Musa. Whether we are Fir'aun or we are, we are with Fir'aun or, or we are Fir'aun or we are with Musa or Musa. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala tells us the conditions for Fir'aun to exist. There are conditions. A person has to be very arrogant to become a Fir'aun. But that person's arrogance has to be helped by a, a person known as Haman. You know, a wazir that is taghid, a wazir that is mutamalliq, a wazir that is munafiq, such as a Harun, uh, such as, sorry, a Haman. Ya Haman, ibn li sahan, la ali ablu ghunasbah. Whatever the king says is true. And that Haman and that Fir'aun needs a Qarun, a businessman who's wealthy and just defends his, his interest and his interest is, is with the interest of the king. And that Harun and uh, that Harun, sorry, and that Fir'aun and that Haman, they need soldiers who are there for their service. In the Fir'aun wa Haman wa Junudahu ma kanu, kanu khati'in, kanu khati'in. And they also knew, need, you know, uh, intellectual people who are not honest. These honest intellectuals, those are the Sahara. You know, they could be religious, they could be scientists, they could be whatever. Yes, the, 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 the Sahara. And they need also the press. Al Hashara. Al Hashirun. They say the press, they only cover what America wants, what Israel wants, what, what Netanyahu wants. That's, 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 the, that's the Hashara of, of, of the Hashirun in the time of, 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 of Fir'aun. They say, come, come see what. The Sahara of Fir'aun are doing. They don't say what Musa is doing because it was between Musa and the Sahara. It was between Musa and the Sahara. But you, every Fir'aun also will have in front of him, you know, a, 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 a Musa. That Musa can be called the Philistine, can be called Hamas, 
because they were terrorists then, and they could be called whatever, resisting to the, the, uh, some, some people who resist. That's Musa alayhi salam. And with Musa you have Harun. And with them you have, you know, Dhurriya. You know, Dhurriya. You know, small group of people who are honest. They will be having problem because Fir'aun is there. You know, because Biden is there. Because the Mala is there. The Mala. You know, those people who are there just to defend their interests against the truth. That's what we see. That's why when we read the Quran, we're not reading history. We're reading now. You know, it has to do with us. It has to do with now. It has to do with eternity. So we use and seize the, the opportunity of Ramadan to go through this book. We ask Allah to grant us understanding. Allah to grant us understanding.